All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? <clears throat> it's Super here, and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 1 video. Today, we're doing another video talking about just... I guess this is not really a tutorial, but it's just me talking about, in my opinion, the three best cameos in Mortal Kombat 1. These cameos work pretty much with any character, even though some characters are going to benefit more than others. I have two right now, which is Serena and Cyrax, and then we're going to talk about one more after this. But I think Serena and Cyrax are pretty much the most common cameos that we see online at the moment. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of cameos like Kung Lao that have really, really good assists. Uh, Mataro has his good assists. Goro. There's a lot of different cameos that will benefit your playstyle. But these are characters, or these are cameos that fit pretty much any character that you want to play with. Um, so, I guess I'm just making this video just as a tips video, I guess. If any of you are having a hard time finding a cameo, then these are, in my opinion, the three best in the game these are probably going to be the easiest to use and then the the final one which is Jax, is a little bit harder to use as far as um maximizing his potential but i'll show you guys how to do something like that in this video but serena obviously you know the most obvious thing that is the best for her is is the, the double knife throw right you get the two hits and then you get the boomerang effect the knives coming back uh it gives combo potential to pretty much any character so that's just like a, a simple combo right you call in serena you go into into serena again and then you could go into your combo do whatever you want right this is obviously not optimized i'm just showing you guys a demonstration um but that's not the only reason why serena is just insane and why she's so good but if you want a cameo that's going to give you easy combo routes, Serena is definitely going to be the way to go. Cyrax is going to do that for you, but he's a little bit more complicated, a little bit more specific. Um, but overall, his um, his move set is really good as well. So uh, another another reason why another reason why Serena is so good, obviously, is because she has this right here. <clears throat> I have infinite armor right now on my characters. But here, let me just, uh, no, not cameo gauge. All right, so I'm gonna call in Serena here. As you guys see, Smoke's meter is draining fast. It seems like the cameo drains about an entire bar of meter. Um, so when you're comboing your opponent, the cool thing about that cameo is, uh, you know, you're getting at any point during your combo. You could call in Serena, and then you, you're you pretty much stopping your opponent from gaining meter while you're hitting them. Uh, that's like one of the best assists in the game, to be honest with you guys. Because if your opponent has two bars of meter, and you put them in a combo, you call in Serena to come in as an ambush assist to drain your opponent's meter while you have them in a combo. They're not going to be able to break that combo. Uh, if you're if you put your opponent in a combo it's pretty much going to even out so whatever meter your opponent has that's pretty much how they're going to stay as long as they're in the circle when serena is out and that is incredibly strong incredibly strong because she could call it twice you know i, I don't think she could call it twice in a combo maybe some characters maybe shang Tsung that has like crazy long combos uh or maybe in some specific setups but the fact that, you know, you could call in her knives first, right? And then you could do this. Well, I took him out of the corner, but you could start a Sindel combo and then go into, uh, or at any point, you know, call in the Serena assist. And then you call it again. That is so cheap. That is another reason why Serena is such a good assist. It's not only the combo extension, but it's also the fact that you could steal your opponent's meter while you have them in a combo and pretty much prevent them from breaking, which is incredibly cheap. Another reason why Serena is so good is because she has her uppercut move. Whoops. And her uppercut move actually gives you invincibility frames on your move, so... 
so smoke has this gap in, in this combo string right here and if you do the down serena assist as you guys see you flash white meaning you get some frames of invincibility so serena not only has incredibly easy combo extension that doesn't really nerf your damage you get two two of those if you want to you get the meter drain which only drains half of your assist cameo and then you also have this kick right here that gives you invincibility frames as a reversal that is what you call the best cameo in the game in my opinion so in you guys know that there's like a, a Baraka setup with, um, actually let me uh, just stop this real quick. There's a Baraka setup with Cyrax where it chips you out like crazy, um, but not with Serena like because her assist is so fast and you get invincibility frames. If there's a gap in there, she's going to come out and save your ass with that kick. So let me just show you guys again. Gap in between that. Oh, I got to put it back on. Whoops. Every time. Every time. And that just adds to the utility of Serena. Like, she's just an assist, or she's a cameo that's gonna get you everything that you want. Reversals with invincibility frames, um, easy combo extensions that don't really nerf damage. You're gonna get meter drain on your opponent. It's just, Serena's just like the total package. And that's why you guys see so much of her online. So, Serena, in my opinion, is the best cameo in the game. Uh, I don't think it's by far because there's some utilities that other characters might have that might benefit some other characters more than Serena. Uh, I don't know if Smoke is going to be a good example. I don't really have the, uh, I haven't played, I haven't played Smoke in a bit. Well, I got the combo right there. So, as you guys see, like, Cyrax is just a good combo extender for a lot of these characters that are gonna, you know, do something when um, they're in the air. Like, for, I don't know how to play Baraka. Baraka, obviously, is the best example to use in this situation, but I don't know how to play Baraka yet. Um, but Smoke kind of benefits from, you know, something similar. You know, if I want to do a meterless combo, do this. Call in that Cyrex assist. I gotta do it a little bit later. And then you go in for your extra combo. I mean, that just helps extend your damage and your combo even more when it comes to smoke, when it comes to anybody. Uh, you could also use him in pressure. You guys know I told you that he has, uh, he has gaps in between a lot of his combo strings, like this for example. But if you call in the Cyrex assist... Come on. If you call in the Cyrax assist when uh, when you do this, you're not going to have the gap that you normally would. And if your opponent gets hit by it, you're going to be able to extend your combo. So Cyrax is one of those characters that not only could he benefit or you could benefit from his chip damage potential with this move right here, his combo extension. He could keep you safe. He could uh, hide some of your uh, hide some of your flaws as a character. Like, Smoke has a lot of gaps in between a string. And with the Cyrax assist, he doesn't really need to worry about it. And you could save a bar of meter. Um, you could also do this. You could extend combos that, you know, normally you wouldn't have. That's just the easy 310 damage for nothing. Another cool benefit that Cyrax has, if you have two bars of meter is you hold the right trigger button and you get a full pop-up a full combo extension ladies and gentlemen that's so sick right uh you're supposed to do it cyrax there you go <laughs> i don't know why he wasn't but you could get a full combo extension well i'm dropping my combos but you could get a full combo extension with the forward throw uh, if you have two bars of meter. And as you guys see it, I don't think the grab takes any, any, uh, assist meter away from Cyrax. So, 
you have both your assists still at your disposal. You're just spending two bars of meter. Uh, similar to Jax, where he could enhance his gotcha grab. Look at that. 285 damage off a of forward throw is really good. Really good. Um, he does have his net. His net right here, which doesn't really combo into anything. Uh, but you could throw it out in full screen. If you catch your opponent, it does have a lot of hit stun, so you are going to be able to com fully combo from it. Um, let me see. Does Smoke have anything? There's some characters like Sindel, actually, with uh, her cartwheel. You could actually combo into net. Let me see if... That, was, that wasn't the one. Alright, that doesn't combo. I'm just seeing if... Uh, hold on, let me put Cameo Gage to full. I just want to see if... Nah, he's probably... Smoke probably won't have anything uh, that he's going to be able to combo with into net. But some characters do. Some characters like Sindel, you could do the car wheel into the net and it'll actually combo. Nah, it's too slow. But... Yeah, Cyrax is another character that is just incredibly popular online right now, and there's good reason for it, because he could extend your combos, he could keep you safe, he could um, sort of plug some of the holes that you might have in your combo strings, like Smoke. Uh, you just have to be a little bit tight on the execution if you still want to combo from it, if you're using a character like Smoke, and you have to call it at the right time. So definitely compared to Serena, Cyrax is a lot harder to use, but Cyrax is right up there, man, right up there. Uh, I know that a lot of people are using him with uh, Baraka just because of the insane shit damage that he could have. Guess what? If you're using the Serena assist to counter that, you don't have to put up with it because Serena's assist is so fast, and if there's a gap in, in there, you're going to get that invincibility frame and, and sort of knock your opponent out of there. Uh, as far as I've seen so far maybe if the the setup is like really tight then you won't be able to do Check that um but for the most part uh that serena assist is going to get you out of a lot of trouble uh, another character or a few other characters that have that is sonia and kung lao kung lao's uh, spin is actually an invincible uh it gives you invincibility frames meaning if i'm doing the same thing versus um cyrax or actually let me just whoops i'm using nice jacks let's go over here i like Corrupted like force. the stage but kung lao gives you that uh similar reversal that serena does but his is a lot slower um but we're gonna be talking about jacks and Jax was in the beta and pretty much his ground pound is where i feel like Jax is gonna shine uh Jax has so many setups with his ground pound pretty much with any character in the game uh, and with Scorpion he has a particularly amazing one because it leads to unblockable situations it leads to situations where you literally cannot get out of the situation because Jax's ground pound is unblockable and my jump three is going to hit almost at the same time and then I have this move right here to sort of reel you in to, co to continue the combo so you guys have probably seen me use this online in my opinion it's incredibly strong but you also have to have like a, a good scorpion game because scorpion doesn't really have much to his own tool set to open people up so you're gonna have to be very patient you're gonna have to use your footsies you're gonna have to use uh let your opponent hang themselves so then you can get the opportunity to try to get some of these setups Obviously, he's going to hit us right there, but, you know, it just gives you a little uh, a little idea of, of how to use Jax. But you don't you don't even need to use his unblockable. Jax is just a straight up, like, great assist or great cameo, because if you're using if you're using Raiden, he has a shocker where he like shocks you up in the air and you're like left left in the air. Right. So you could bring in Jax and you could bring in his um, his backbreaker and extend your combo like you could do like three of those shockers including one meter burn to continue the combo and if you're using a character like raiden with the Jax assist you could easily get 55 60 percent damage combos easy uh so Jax has that combo potential you know even with a character like like a uh, scorpion uh you could do something like this
I'll just keep it simple. You could keep it really simple right there. Um, you could also use it you to go into his unblockable setup. Or maybe, I, I don't think he'll recover in time to do it. I haven't used this combination in a bit. I've been practicing some of these other characters. Oh uh, no, you could use it to... Um, you could do like an extended combo and then uh, you, you don't use stand 4 into your spear. You actually just spear normally because uh, that way you'll be able to have jacks back. So you could do a... Uh, let me see. So you could do a fatal blow. So you could do a fatal blow combo like this. So normally you wouldn't be able to do that because Jax would be out, but uh, in this situation, if you don't do a stand four into the spear, Jax is not gonna get knocked down, and he's not gonna and he's gonna be able to like get off screen, so he could come back and do the fatal blow with you. So it's really useful. Uh, he's definitely a lot harder to use as far as uh, extending combos because your timing has to be on point compared to a character like Serena. But in my opinion, Jax is insanely good. Like crazy good and it's mostly because of this unblockable setup right here it just gives access to so many cheap setups from not only scorpion but a lot of characters so the one that i've been using is this one right here uh i'm gonna have my opponent set to jump out block will do auto and movement we'll have them like jump forward right all right See, jump forward. I didn't time it right right there, but as you guys see, he was just standing there because he has to take it. There you go. So I have him I have him set to jump forward. Alright, now I'm gonna set him to just crouch like crouch block i have him set to auto block so he could like block uh right after uh he's hit so let me just have him duck as you guys see he's gonna block that he's gonna block uh any overheads any lows he's just set to auto so So that's pretty much like it's guaranteed like there's nothing your opponent could do about it You guys saw me set smoke to jump forward meaning that at any point where he could actually jump and move He was gonna do it right here. He's ducking. He's blocking while ducking He's gonna get hit by the overhead or the unblockable because they're supposed to hit almost at the same time I'm gonna have him just stand block I'm just gonna have him stand block and it's gonna be the same thing you just have to time it properly. And as you guys see, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do. And that's the power of the Jax cameo right there, ladies and gentlemen. I'll even have him set to, to jump. It's just normal jump. It's just normal jump. Mistimed it right there myself, but you guys saw he didn't jump. I just mistimed it. There it is. So that is the power of the Jacks assist, um, and it's not only it's not only with uh, Scorpion that he has access to this. It's with a lot of characters because the ground pound is unblockable. It gives you access to so many cheap setups, and Jacks has been my favorite cameo to use with Scorpion because that specific setup. Because I'm like, all right. I might not be able to have like the best mix-ups in the world. I don't have anything to like if you make a mistake, you're making that mistake and you're gonna pay for it. And I'm gonna hit you with this unblockable setup. So I think my cameos one, two, and three are in order. Serena number one, Cyrax number two, Jax number three. The only reason that I have uh that I wanted to show you Kung Lao is I want to show you another example of um, of a character having an invincible reversal. And the cool thing about um, 
the cool thing about Kung Lao is that he actually is a launcher. So once he launch, like, you guys see, you have some invincibility frames. He launches you. It's not gonna work on on every character or every uh, combo string because some of them might be a little bit too fast. It might hit you. But that's super useful to have. Off of an interruption, right? Off of an interruption, you get over 30% ease. Easy over 30%. Obviously, not every combo string is going to be that slow. You know, some of, the, some of the setups with Cyrax might not work because this is too slow. But I definitely have Kung Lao up there as one of the best cameos because of his versatility. Uh, he also has this teleport where some characters you could actually combo from their throws like Liu Kang for example his back throw you could actually combo from his throw Kung Lao brings you behind him you could extend the combo uh, same thing with Liu Kang's fireball you throw a fireball from like full screen you follow it up with the assist if it hits the opponent low you're gonna be able to follow it up with a combo so that's it for me ladies and gentlemen I just want to make this little tips video just to talk about the best the three best cameos in my opinion in Mortal Kombat 1. I'm not saying that Kung Lao is number four for me. I just wanted to show you that some other characters also have invincible moves that would really help you out on defense with some of these block strings. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Who's your favorite cameo to use and who do you think is the best cameo fighter in Mortal Kombat 1 overall? Like I said, I think it's Serena first, then it's Cyrax, then it's Lord Jax. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.